In this video, I'm going to show you how I would go about packing a rucksack for a DV or 10 tours expedition. I've in previous videos gone through the, the clothing that I would wear on an expedition and the additional kit that I would take on an expedition. And I'll put links to those videos at the end of this one. So I'm, I'm just going to start with the um, the gear which I would put into my rucksack, which I would only get out of my rucksack when I am inside the tent. So the stuff that needs to be kept completely dry. Um, lots of my gear I organise in dry bags, um, just helps me to, to keep everything in one place um, and helps to organise it. So I'm just going to start with my, my spare clothing. So rolling clothes is, is quite a good way of keeping them um, well compressed. Um, so spare base layers, a, a thermal top which I could use um, in bed as a pyjama top. Um, I could put thermal leggings in there as well. A spare pair of trousers. And all of that can roll up and fit into a, a relatively small dry bag. Um, I'll also put a second dry bag in there, which I could use for, um, for dirty underwear um, or, or wet clothes um, later on in the expedition. Now, when you have a, uh, when you fill the dry bag, the way to close it is to put one fold in the top, push it down to um, squeeze out the air and then roll the top as many times as you need to um, and then seal it. Now this dry bag has compression straps on it so I can attach that clip that in and then pull on all these straps on the sides to make a, a relatively small bundle. So that's my spare clothes for the expedition. Also in that um, the, the bag that, that doesn't come out apart from when you're inside the tent would be your wash gear, sleeping bag liner, sleeping bag which I'll put away in a minute, um, the roll mat, towel, roll mat and a towel. So the sleeping bag Sleeping bags tend to come with um, their own compression bags. So let me just put this, pack this one away. And um, the sleeping bag, if nothing else goes in a dry bag, this is what you need to be kept dry um, in order to be safe overnight. So um, just, so these bags are called stuff sacks and literally all you need to do is stuff the sleeping bag into it. Don't try and roll the sleeping bag because that really won't work. And there we are. Um, sleeping bags often have a compression bag and that can make the bag much smaller. It's fair to say that with sleeping bags, the more money you spend on a bag, 
the warmer, lighter and smaller it will be. Um, but obviously that depends on how much money you're prepared to spend um, on kit. Um, borrowing sleeping bags from um, friends and family is also a very good idea. So all that intent stuff will go into a dry bag um, and this dry bag is one which I will only open when I'm inside the tent. So sleeping bag, roll mat, spare clothes, sleeping bag liner, towel, wash bag, and again, push down one fold, and then do it up. I'm now going to pack the stuff which will keep me warm. So I've got a, an orange dry bag for my warm stuff. So I've got my hat and gloves, a mid layer, just a, a jumper, my fleece jacket, spare set of tissues and a small towel. Again, fold over once, push it down. And roll. The next thing that I'm going to pack is the stuff that keeps me dry. Now I'm putting my wet weather gear into a blue dry bag. Um, so I've got my gaiters, I've got my waterproof trousers, and just roll it and, and fold it, and my waterproof jacket. Now a good idea when packing the jacket is to roll it from the bottom into its own hood. And that just keeps it fairly compact. And again, I've um, got another couple of dry bags. This one has my water purification tablet, spare batteries for the head torch, matches, head torch. And I might also put a, a battery charger um, for a mobile phone into this as well. Um, and then this dry bag has my first aid kit, tick removal tool um, and whistle. Okay, so I pack up the rucksack now. Um, the first thing which I would put into the rucksack is the hydration bladder. So I'm just going to disconnect the hose from that. Um, we'll assume that I've filled this with water. 
And then this has its own little sleeve in the rucksack just here, which I slide the, the bladder into. Um, there is a little clip here to stop it sinking all the way to the bottom. And then the and then the hose with the mouthpiece on the outside of the bag can go through the little hole into the bag and then clips in. So that's the, the hydration kit. Okay, so in the very bottom of the rucksack, I'm going to put the bag with my intent stuff. Now, often um, in the, the rucksack, there'll be a separate compartment at the bottom. Sometimes that compartment can be opened up so it can be accessed from the bottom, but it's not sealed. So it makes packing the bag actually much easier. So I'll put this bag with my sleeping bag and roll mat etc right down at the very bottom of the bag and um, I'll also put things like the um, survival bag which I hope not to use and the trowel my first aid kit I could even put my um, gas for cooking in there. And I could put my food for future days. And heavy items, it's a good idea to try and fit those items as close as you can to your back so they don't provide too much drag. Okay, so zip that bit up and the rucksack should then stand up quite easily. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to pack into my bag next would be things like my warm clothes, which I hope not to access. And I would also put at this point um, my part of the tent that I'm carrying and the stove. Again, it's quite heavy, so fix it nearer to the back of the rucksack so that it's not dragging you backwards. So then towards the top of the bag, I'd want my food that I want to access during the day. And my wet weather gear, which I need to be able to get at very quickly. So that's most, I have obviously haven't put a tent into this um, at this point, um, but then there are various ways of cinching down the interior of the bag. Some bags have a, a cord here which just keeps everything compressed and a draw cord here. The lid comes over the top and clips up. Um, it's a good idea not to have too much stuff on the outside of the bag if you can help that. Um, it keeps everything much neater. And also means you're much less likely to lose anything. 
Um, if you have to strap anything, perhaps part of the tent to the outside, consider strapping it to the sides of the bag rather than to um, the front of the bag where it's going to pull you backwards. Okay, in the hip belts of my um, rucksack, in the pockets, in one of them I'm going to put my anti back gel, my sun cream, and my insect repellent. And in the other pocket, I would put my, um, my snacks, um, maybe a cereal bar, something that I can easily munch on during the day. In the top pocket of the rucksack, I'm going to put my bag of um, head torch and that kind of stuff, my um, mobile phone, waterproof bag and a pen in this bag I've got big pockets at the bottom where I'm going to put a water bottle if you if there's two of you that have water bottles instead of um, a bladder system, what you might want to consider doing is putting your bottle into your friend's rucksack and their bottle into your rucksack so you can easily grab it without having to take the whole pack off first. So I've got that on one side and my mug with a cup of tea into the other side. My spork my, for my cutlery and um, I'm just going to pop that into a side pocket. And that's that. That's my rucksack packed. Um, basically heavy stuff towards the back of the pack against your back. Lighter stuff near the top and on the front of the pack and at the bottom, the stuff that you only want to have inside the tent with your camping gear in the middle and then your warm clothes, waterproof clothes and food for the day at the top of the pack. And that is how to pack a rucksack.